Well, no, that's not true. I opened up the outside in the backyard, but not in the front yard. So I thought I would pop in and go live right here, right now in the kitchen. Um, well, in the dining room, actually, hence the big ass clock, which is so beautiful um, that I have behind me. So how's your Wednesday kicking off? What kind of feeling do you have today? What do you believe to be true and possible today? So I'm starting it off like this for a reason. And I wanted to share with you a little something that I said yes to last week or recently, recently. So for those that don't know, I have participated in four co-author books, which means um, I have written a chapter in four different books. And I recently said yes to another one. And I wasn't really sure what I was going to talk about. But the um, the coach who was running the book had said, think if you were on stage with 5,000 people and you had their attention, what is it that you would talk about? And the first thing that came to mind was faith or fear. And today I want to share with you some of what I put together um, in my 400 words, it's about 400 words or less that I submitted. So there's a little bit more I'm not going to include today because I'm going to want you to buy my book when it comes out or buy my chapter of the book when it comes out. But the message, the messaging is so powerful. And that's what I want to share with you today. So at the end of the day, before we really get started, I want to ask you, what do you believe? And, and just sit with that for a minute. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read um, what I put together. Um, and then again, anytime you have questions or if you've liked anything that you've heard so far, um, go ahead, follow, like, share, do a girl a favor. Let, help me let the world know my messaging. And you can always catch the full message on my YouTube channel. Yesterday's download was too big to put on TikTok, so I was only able to upload it on YouTube, so you can catch all of the larger ones on YouTube. Okay, and if you don't know where to find that, go ahead and check out the link in my bio. So you guys, welcome. It's called Faith or Fear. And at the end of the day, have you ever noticed that you are either, it's either one or the other, right? You're either frozen in fear, no matter what you're going through in your life. You're either frozen in fear or you have unwavering faith. And it doesn't start off with unwavering faith. Normally it starts off with that bit of fear, right? Where you're like frozen a little bit and you don't know what to do with yourself. So that's what my perspective, remember what I'm sharing with you is purely my perspective. So have you ever noticed when it comes to faith or fear that it is usually one or the other? You're either frozen or you are carried through with unwavering faith. So what is it that you believe? You know, this question is actually a lot more significant than you might realize. And the reason for that is because life at the end of the day is always a reflection of what you believe in your core to be true. Always. Now, how does this relate to your business or even to your life? Let me explain. You know, as a wellness coach, I started my journey over 15 years ago and I didn't have a place then. And then I moved back to my hometown and I bought a house with ample space in my basement to run a personal training studio. So it started off there. It grew to the point where I needed to rent space. And once again, I had outgrown the needs of my clients. Okay. After five years of doing that in the spring of 2020, we all know what happened. My business came to an abrupt end. Okay. Almost everybody that had any kind of personal training or fitness studio had their doors shut down. We all know why. You know, the world made some a big impact on all of our lives. So it felt like failure. It felt like it was crippling me. It humbled me. Um, although I did nothing wrong, I wasn't a failure. It crippled me. I felt like I had to reinvent myself. I felt like I was allowing failure to tap in and ruin me versus innovate and bring me creativity. But it didn't take long for me to flip that script. It didn't. I pivoted. Um, so if you fast forward three years where we're at now, 2023, and it's really hard to even wrap my head around all that I've accomplished in that period of time, in those three years, I have up-leveled my credentials. I've expanded my imagination. I changed my delivery methods to include podcasting, 
writing, coaching, delivering workshops in person, and even at retreats. Guys, over the last two or three years, I have coached and I have facilitated workshops to over thousands of people. Do you think I would have thought this when I was closing down my doors and crying over sending refunds to clients and being frustrated that I had to sell my weights for money to get by because it wasn't a fit based on the life we were at right now. Here's the, one of my favorite quotes that I put together in this little book. You know, I never thought, okay, now I'll get to the quote in a second, but I never would have thought any of this would have happened. It wasn't in my wildest imagination. And I've inspired thousands of people to live happier and healthier lives, doing what I love from my core, from my authentic self. And none of this would have happened had I stay frozen in fear. Of course, fear affected me. Fear always affects people, right? But instead, I tapped into faith, unwavering faith, knowing that deep in my core, deep in my body, everything is unfolding just the way it should. Here's the quote that I love. She was unstoppable, not because she didn't have failures or doubts, but because she continued on despite them. So too many of us give up before we reach success or we let fear rule us. You know, know that how you handle yourself in adversity is what really defines you as an entrepreneur, as a mom, as a dad. Be kind to yourself. Believe in yourself. You know, and I've got a few tips I want to sign off with, but, you know, on top of all of these tips, you know, I'm here to help you every step along the journey towards health and happiness and living the best life that you've ever imagined. But there are a few things that you need to do. And you need to wrap your head around before you could even think about getting started. Oh, thank you for the love, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, again, if you're liking anything that you're hearing, please follow along. Please like, comment, share. Um, pop into the link in my bio. The more people that can see this, the more people I can help and inspire. So my tips are faith and prayer. Never give up. Act confident. Trust in your brilliance. Own your own unique abilities. Have the audacity to believe that anything is possible. No one cares? Great. Thanks, bud. Um, follow your inner guidance. Feel good about the decisions that you're making. Feel good. Feel good that they are the right decisions and there is no wrong decision that you could possibly be making. Ask questions every day. Learn something new. Go into it wholeheartedly, step into your strength to deliver your message. But most importantly, adopt a spirit of faith sooner rather than later. This was probably the one thing I was missing at the beginning when I was frozen in fear. Faith in your community, faith in yourself, faith in your vision and mission. Fall in love with yourself throughout the process. Your ideas, your passions, fall in love with that over and over and over again. Um, be excited to see where your decisions and adventures will lead. Stay curious to see what the future brings. And with unwavering faith, your story, and I promise you this, hi guys, your story will unfold even better than what you have ever, ever imagined. And that's all I really wanted to share with you all today. Thank you for the beautiful hearts, the loves, the flowers, the comments. And once again, if you like anything that you've said today, please um, follow along for more insights from Coach Sonia here. And thank you once again for being a part of my journey. All of the links and details are in my bio or message me directly to see how I can support you. And while you're in my bio, go ahead and do my wellness quiz. We will get together for a free report review where I will give you three takeaways that you can implement right away. Fill your day up with magic and miracles today, my friends.